before the end of this decade, a new technology will emerge and the future will be shown to us. I've already been warned many times to stay in my lane. Don't go into this, stay teaching people with my little cash flow game. You know, I'm talking about stay small or we'll stomp on you. I won't talk about conspiracy, but something's fishy about this corona crisis. It is something very fit. Why did they have to shut down the whole damn world? And I think it's because they're covering up something very, very big. And in December, I mean, in September 2019, the shadow banking system collapsed. And that's why the Fed and the Treasury are printing tens of trillions of dollars all over the world. So when Corona appeared, I think it was an excuse to shut down the world economy to cover up what really happened. What is going on in the world right now has never happened in the history of the world. I mean, how can you shut down the whole world economy? So in March of 2020 was the biggest crash in world history of the stock market, but nobody knows anything about it because everybody's quarantined at home thinking about coronavirus and, and social distancing and wearing face masks. So people are missing out on one of the biggest catastrophic cash heists in the history of the world. They don't even know what's happening. And then to have it come through via a virus or what Nazim Taleb calls the black swan, even more dastardly, and then to shut down the whole world's economy and put millions of people out of work and destroy, you know, small business owners, the, the lifeblood of the world to save the rich, the really, really rich, is I think criminal. And yesterday I was drinking my JCB wine, celebrating with Kim, we made it. We're financially free, but more than anything else, we're prepared with a business that teaches financial education to the masses. You see, education is rigged, as you know, it's only if you have money, you know that, I know that. So if you live in a rich neighborhood, your schools get more money because the real estate pays for it. But you live in a poor neighborhood, you get the poorest education because the real estate taxes aren't high. So everything's about money, but for some reason, we don't teach money at school. But apparently uh, somebody gave you something to get yourself out of this. And what the millennials have that I didn't have was an iPhone. The iPhone is the single most powerful. I cannot believe how much power that thing has. Holy mackerel. All you have to do is sink your brain to that iPhone. You have more power than you and I ever had when we were their age, you know, do you know what I mean? The trouble is if they don't, haven't gone to school and they have a teacher that is incompetent and we've all had incompetent teachers, their brain and the iPhone are not synced in to making money. Do you know what I mean? They're, and if you can't make money with your iPhone, there's something wrong in your brain, not the iPhone's brain. And that's what I tell young people. So you and I are the news. What we're doing right now is the news and COVID bacteria and the crash of the economy is the old news. It's the death. And that's the first words Fuller said to my class in 1981. There was a hundred of us. And I was about 35 at the time. And he says, ladies and gentlemen, we are the news. What's in the newspaper is old. And what was in the newspaper at the time was Reagan and Star Wars and Russia and nuclear power and all that stuff. He says, that's the death of an old. And he said, before the end of this decade, which was 1980, a new technology will emerge and the future will be shown to us. And in 89, the World Wide Web came up. So exactly as he predicted. So all you young millennials out there and young people, you have the most powerful tool ever created in humanity. The question is, how are you gonna use it? You can use an iPhone the way we're doing it right now to educate, to inspire, to teach. Or you can watch porno on it. Well, it's up to you. And the question you and I are always asking is, how come people can't hear it? So the reason what Fuller said to me back in 81 to our class is we are the news. So today as the world is collapsing behind of us with the stock market and employment, businesses are collapsing, it's, it's fake, it's not real. They're doing it to do it. Some of us will come out anti-fragile, will come out stronger, better, more able. And that's why I said, when I saw that, that iPhone come out, I said, 
all you millennials, all you entrepreneurs out there, that cell phone is your lifeline out of this mess. Use it. You know, metamorphosis is like when a butterfly, I mean, a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. That's metamorphosis. And the definition of metamorphosis, you can look it up in the dictionary, is the trans or the transformation from an immature form to an adult form. Immature form to adult form. In other words, grow up. So for some of us, this crisis will, will grow up. We'll come of it anti-fragile, we'll come out stronger.